Today on Zoom, watch how I magically turn this liquid from the color red to the color blue and then back to red again. I really like vegetables, but if you don't, here's a fun way to eat them. It's a vegetable parfait. It's like an ice cream parfait. Candle Pin Bowling got its name because these pins look like candles on a birthday cake. Down the road there is a genie. She asked me what I wanted to be. I said, a wealthy king. And then suddenly, I'm a king. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! Hi, my name is Emily. Hi, my name is Ellie. Hi, my name is Allison. We're doing fall cleanup today. Get ready to go! Oh, Hi, Friday! Kaylee! Yeah! <laughs> Garrett! Hey, Caroline! <laughs> Great job! <laughs> Alright! Right. Let's do it! Go! Come on! Hey buddy. Hi. <laughs> hey buddy. Welcome to today's show. Since we're all buddies, we thought it would be cool to play this game called Buddy Tag. It's a really cool game to play with a lot of people. And it's called Buddy Tag because you have to hold on to a buddy to avoid being tagged. Crystal J of Salt Lake City, Utah, emailed us the directions. To play, you have to pick one person to be it and one person to be the runner. Alini is going to be it and Kaylee is going to be the runner. Everyone else has to find a buddy and link arms. All right, now Alini tries to tag Kaylee. To avoid being it, Kaylee has to link arms with another buddy. <laughs> okay, now Kaylee's safe, but the person on the other side of the pair, well, Matt, he's now the runner. All right, so Matt, you run. <laughs> this game can go on forever, so we're just going to stop playing when we run out of breath. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Okay. Look, guys, right. we should probably um, spread apart, like, yeah. the bodies apart to make it. Times. Okay, ready? So, on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> now I start up. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. <laughs> oh, did she get you? Oh, yeah, she got oh, yeah. you. So now, oh, Rachel, okay. Garrett, and Alini's the runner. Okay. <laughs> Come 
polar bears like to eat? Hmm. I don't know. Burritos. <laughs> Burritos. <laughs> oh, coolie. <laughs> mm. Welcome to Cafe Zoo. I really like vegetables, but if you don't, here's a fun way to eat them. It's a vegetable parfait. It's like an ice cream parfait. But instead of layering ice cream, you use vegetables. See how there's a layer of celery, carrots, cucumbers, and tomatoes? Shay L. of Massachusetts emailed us this recipe. Here's what you'll need. Besides your favorite vegetables, you'll need your favorite salad dressing. I'm using Italian. And a clear plastic cup. First, peel and wash your vegetables. And then chop them all up, like this. Then, start layering your cup with your veggies. I'm going to start with celery. Ooh, looks really good. Can't wait to eat it. Then the carrots. Put a little more, one more scoop. I really like cucumbers, so I'm going to put a lot. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I like it because it has no lettuce, and I don't really like lettuce. So. All right. And finally, your tomatoes. Ooh. Really looks really good. And finally, to top it off, put your favorite salad dressing on top. Shake it up a little bit. Dig in. Shay says these are scrum diddly umptious. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. What's up? 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 What's your favorite school lunch? My favorite school lunch is spaghetti and meatballs. Salisbury steak with fries. Pizza. My favorite food at school is nachos. They're French toast sticks. Fish. I probably say peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. My favorite school lunch is probably the crispito, which is a uh, meat rolled up in a taco with cheese on top. My favorite school lunch is the chicken salad. My favorite school lunch is tacos. Cheeseburgers with, with Pickles, ketchup, mustard, lettuce and tomato, and for dessert, pudding with whipped cream on top. <laughs> Ooh. Welcome to Zoom Side in the kitchen. Watch how I magically turn this liquid from the color red to the color blue, and then back to red again. Okay, ready? Stir it up. Now it's blue. Now I'm gonna change it back to red. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Ah. oh well. Wow, that's really, really cool. Well, you're probably wondering how I did this. The red juice is cabbage juice, and when I added baking soda to it, it turned blue. And then, when he added vinegar to it, it turned back to red. The reason this happens is because the cabbage juice has a chemical reaction when it's mixed with other chemicals, which makes it change colors. When it's mixed with a base, like baking soda, it turns blue. And it's when it's mixed with an acid, like vinegar, it stays red. Jacob F. 
of Appaloosas, Louisiana, emailed us this side. To make your own red cabbage juice indicator, first, grate some red cabbage into a container, like I did right here. Then, cover your red cabbage with cold water, like this, and let it sit. And after about 45 minutes, the water should turn red, like this. Then, strain your red cabbage juice into a container. And now, you have your red cabbage juice. Now we can use the cabbage juice to test whether the chemical is an acid or a base. If the chemical is an acid, it will turn a shade of red. And if the chemical is a base, it will turn a shade of blue. So what, what chemicals do you want to use? Um, I think that maybe we should use lemon juice because we know it's a strong acid. So and, we can see okay. how much. And how about we add window cleaner? Well, window cleaner. Cause it's, um, I think that because you clean things with it um, and because it's soapy and bases are usually soapy. Yeah. And um, do you want to use cola because we don't know if that's an acid or base? Okay. Okay. So, so Emily used vinegar too. Yeah, we can also use the vinegar right here. Okay. You got them? Okay. Yep. We have the same amount of cabbage juice in each of these containers. These four containers are blue because we added a base, baking soda. By adding a base, we can see how much of each of these liquids it takes to get the cow juice back to its original reddish color. The stronger the acid, the less we'll have to use to get the cabbage juice to its original color. Here's a cup of just cabbage juice. The reason we're not putting any baking soda in it is because it's our control. We're trying to make all the chemicals match that color. And we have permission to use any of these chemicals. So let's start with window cleaner. Okay. So let's see how many of these it will take to get back to that color. Okay. Ready? So. That's good. That's good. One. That's good. Two. That's good. It doesn't seem to be turning red at all. Let's try a couple more. Let's see if it's, it's going to start to turn red. Okay. And that's the last one. Let's that's see. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's turning red at all. No. So we know that this is not an acid. It is it a is base. base. Okay. So that was window cleaner. So let's try the cola now. Okay. Here's one. See what that did. That do anything? Nah. Nope. But it could. Let's see what happens with this. So that's two. It's oh, not turning much of a color. Nope. Three. Six. Seven. Okay. Didn't seem like it's gonna turn. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna two. turn. So we know that this cola isn't much of an acid. No. Lemon so juice this time? Lemon juice. Okay. Mm. I predict this is going to turn back to um, right. the cabbage juice color. Yeah. Can I do it this time? Okay. Mm. Ooh, comes out fast. So there's one. Oh, oh wow, that's one. really That's already. turning red that already. <laughs> okay. There's two. Here, why don't you mix it up a little bit? Okay. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Okay, two. I think we went too much. Yeah, actually. Let's wow. See. Let's compare. Wow, that is really light. These two are like totally light. So I say that took about one to two. Okay. Okay. So, so now let's try the vinegar. Okay. There's one. Okay. So that turned a little I'm purplish. I'm thinking it's gonna um take about five or so. Five. Me too. Five or four. Two. Now. Oh, okay. Hey, wow. Pretty close. So. Pretty close. Do you want to try another one? Okay. okay. Yeah, it's still yeah, a, little it's a little darker. Three. Wow. Let's, let's try one more. Is this is four? four? Yes, this so is four. four. Wow, I think that is definitely it. Is that it? I think so. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, okay, four. So, so now let's stick this right in here. Okay. So here's our order. Lemon juice and vinegar both changed the cabbage juice back to red. But since we used the least amount of lemon juice to get back to its original color, we know it is the most acidic. And vinegar came in second place. 
Since we used tons of cola, and it still didn't change the cabbage juice back to its original color, we know that it's not very acidic at all. So it goes there. In third place. And no matter how much of the window cleaner we added, we could never get the bread cabbage juice back to its original color. So that must mean the, the window cleaner isn't an acid either. So that goes in fourth. Try experimenting with other liquids in cabbage juice and send your discoveries to Zoom. I'm Alex, I'm 11 years old, up in Malta, Massachusetts, and I'm a candle pinball. I come here about twice a week, once for practice and one for my leave. My average is about 90. Candle pinballing was invented in Massachusetts in the late 1800s, and is now played throughout New England, Canada, and in some parts of Germany. Candle pin bowling got its name because these pins from far away look like candles on a birthday cake. The object of the game is to take this ball and bowl 60 feet into 10 of these pins. And hopefully it'll hit the pins. Candle pin differs from 10 pin because the pins are skinnier and the balls are smaller. In 10 pin you only get two balls per turn, but in candle pin you get three. This is what I practice with, and this is the motion you really want to get. Whoa, I just picked up a spare. When you get one of those, it's a waste of a ball. It's it's a ball for nothing. Now see when that ball was in the gutter, it rolled out and hit that other pin. See that pin doesn't count for anything. It's useless now. What you don't want to do is cross the line, and then it'd be a foul, so you lose all your points. because it's good exercise and it's a lot of fun. You see, that was a strike. Hey, Alini! Yes? Why did the polar bear go to the South Pole? I don't know. To visit his Antarctica! <laughs> Antarctica <laughs> is a... Mm, what's so funny? <laughs> school in Scottsdale, Arizona, held an art auction to raise money for an organization to help kids and their families. They sold their drawings and paintings and were able to raise $90,000. Here they are with some of their artwork. Together with her classmates, Allie H. of Hermosa Beach, California, participated in her school's can drive. Allie's class collected 180 cans of food. If you're interested in having an auction or a can drive, but aren't sure how to get started, go to the Zoom website at pbskids.org. Zoom into action and join the Zoom team! Guineasic Park by John and Mitchell G. of Overland Park, Kansas. Welcome, Dr. Allen Grant, to Guinea Asic Park. Notice that we have these electrical fences around our park to keep our animals safe inside. Look at these lovely plant-eating dinosaurs. This park is surely fascinating. Too bad the car broke down. 
Well, whatever. I'll just walk around and look at the plant-eating dinosaur. Suddenly, oh my gosh, it's a pterodactyl. I see smoke. That mountain over there must be a volcano. Ah, it's a volcano, and it's erupting. Ah, the fences must have failed because of the volcano. The evil T-Rex is out in the wild. Ah, here he comes. He's trying to eat us. Run away, the thief. Ah! The end. See this very dull penny? Adriana F. of Prescott, Arizona, sent us a way to clean it using lemon juice. To do this, you put a penny in some lemon juice. After about five minutes, take the penny out of the lemon juice. All right. Then take a paper towel and rub it off. Like this. All right. The new penny should be much brighter and look like this. And the old penny should look like this. When pennies are made, they're shiny, but after a while, they lose their shine because the oxygen in the air combines with the copper in the penny. This gives it a dull coating called an oxide. The acid in the lemon juice chemically removes the oxide, making the penny shiny again. We're going to experiment with different liquids to see which one makes the penny the brightest. Remember when Alini and Matt tested the strengths of acid using red cabbage juice? Mm -hmm. Well, they found out that lemon juice was the strongest acid Vinegar was a medium acid, and cola was a pretty weak acid. Let's try tomato juice because it's kind of sour, so I think it has a little bit of acid in it. So. All right, let's test it out. Okay, I'll take, I'll take the cola then. All right. I'll put this here. All right. So vinegar goes first, right? Mm -hmm. My hypothesis is that stronger acids make the pennies brighter because it reacts more with the oxide, so I think that lemon juice will work the best because I think it has a higher acidity level than mm -hmm. the others, and tomato would go in last. Okay, cool. So. All right, so you want to test it out? Yeah. All right, so then vinegar would go in this glass. Mm -hmm. There. I'll hold it. Thank you. Uh, that's enough, right? Yeah, that's enough. All right. Yeah. And, and then the cola. How <laughs> move this? Okay. okay, this is so cool. I can't I wait know. to see what's going to happen. I want to see how they react, yeah. how they're going to turn I'm out. I'm sure the, I think the lemon juice, too, will be the strongest, I know, but yeah. I don't know. There could be something really cool that happens. I know. Like it could be the that cola. It, it could, yeah, that it changes. Or it could be the tomato juice, probably. That'd be really surprising, yeah. but that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. It's a big moment. <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you wanna? I'll put one in. All right. Not that two. One, one. two, three. Okay. <laughs> so now we need to wait five minutes. Let's check them out. Okay. So I'll take the, pen the vinegar out. Of All right. So okay. you can rinse it off, and then I'll do the cola. <laughs> this is cool. I can't wait to see. It'll be cool lining them all up. There you go. All right. This one looks so much cleaner than mm. before. Here it is. <laughs> it's got like a tint of red. <laughs> All right. Waiting for the tomato juice. All right. Cool. So actually, I think the the tomato, tomato juice, juice is the brightest. Yeah. Wow. That was totally different than our hypothesis. Let's see what. I, did, I, did it work better than the lemon juice? Let's check. Yes. Yeah. The tomato juice did work the best. That's so weird. We thought that would I be know. totally different. We thought the vinegar would go, then the then the cola, and then, then the, the tomato, tomato juice, juice, but it totally was different. I think that tomato juice made the penny the shiniest. Lemon juice then came in second, mm -hmm. and cola and vinegar are sort of equally yeah. the same. They both They're pretty make, equal. Yeah. We didn't get to test out all the liquids in our cabinet. Why don't you get permission to test them out? And make sure you send any discoveries you make to Zoom. Hey, Alini. <laughs> yeah? How many paws does a polar bear have? Four. <laughs> nope. One paw. 
And one ma. <laughs> Get one it? One ma, one ma, like mom, mommy, daddy. Mm. This Zoom bit was inspired by an idea sent in by Ryan T. of Bueller, Kansas. I'm rich! I'm rich! Why, hello! What happened to you? You won't believe it. Down the road there is a genie. She asked me what I wanted to be. I said, a wealthy king. And then suddenly, boom, I'm a king. Wow, do you think it could happen to me? Well, sure. Just remember, when she asks you what you want to be, say something and you'll be it. Face. Sure. Woohoo. Halt. You may not pass without a wish. Say anything and you will become it. Well, hot dog. <laughs> With ketchup or mustard? <laughs> know what you think. Take our current survey and make your opinion count at the survey section of the Zoom website at pbskids.org or America Online keyword PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other media. So, send it to Zoom. If you know how to make any tasty treats, like hot dogs, then send the recipes to the Zoom website at pbskids.org. Hot dogs? Did someone say hot dogs? Yum! Yikes! <laughs> You've got to send us emails. Send it to Zoom. Email. PBSKids.org. Email. Zoom. 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 PBSKids.org. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks!